Crumble Point Crock and Crab Cruises. Rumble Point Tourist Park. <laughs> Somewhere down here. Number 35, right down the bottom. Let's have a look around. I might head into Karumba. See what's going on in there. Okay, weather report. Bright, sunny, not too good for that kangaroo last night. 18 degrees, a cloud in the sky, and lots of anticipation of a good day. Center. Might go and have a look at that. It's pretty early. Let's hope it's open. Well, it says open. Swim this way. Gift shop. Lovely lady in the entrance. Apparently it's free to have a look around, which is what I'm going to do. The man behind the name, Les Wilson. Hoping to catch fish, Les Wilson arrived in Corumba at the age of 15. He developed a great passion for the area and soon became a strong advocate for the Gulf region. Councillor Wilson served in public office over a period of 23 years until his death in 2009. In 2013, the Barramundi Centre was named in his honour. The early 1990s saw more and more Barramundi caught in the rivers around Karamba. Realising the impact this might have on recreational and commercial fishing, in 1993 the Karamba Fish Stocking Association was established. From humble beginnings on the land of an old CSIRO prawn farm, the association, operated primarily by volunteers, has now released hundreds of thousands of fingerlings into many of the waterways that feed into the Gulf of Carpentaria.
most croc country. interesting. Learn a little bit about Barra and how they're trying to restock the golf. Now we're going to have a look at Karumba. To late 1800s, the settlement originally known as Norman Mouth was officially being referred to as Karumba. The word derives from the Aboriginal name for the area. Given its access to the Gulf of Carpentaria, the town's economy has revolved largely around fishing, including from 1960 onwards a thriving prawning industry. In the late 1930s, Karumba was a refuelling and maintenance stop for the flying boats of the then named Qantas Empire Airways. Today, the town has a permanent population of around 500 people. Plus, at any given time, many more who visit the area in the hope of landing that elusive trophy fish. the worst part isn't it? I'm going to head down and watch the sunset and have a meal at the Crumble Point Hotel. Safe cooking tonight because I've got a long way to go tomorrow. So let's go and watch the sunset over the water, the Gulf of Carpentaria. 